Malaysia's Prime Minister Ismail Sabri Yaakob is to face his first test at the ballot box. A snap election will be held in the state of Malacca. That's after its state assembly was dissolved today. Kita dah bubar semua jenis kapal SPR untuk menguruskan pelan raya negeri dan tarikh dia serah pada SPR. SPR bolehlah mencadangkan kaedah SOP dan terpulanglah kepada MKN untuk dan Kementerian Kesihatan untuk memutuskan keputusan seterusnya. Malacca's government has been thrown into turmoil following the resignation of four lawmakers. They say they've lost confidence in the leadership of Chief Minister Sulaiman Muhammad Ali, who's a member of Mr. Ismail Sabri's ruling party, UMNO. But there are also concerns that the poll could lead to a surge in COVID-19 cases. Melissa Go joins us live now for more from Kuala Lumpur. Mel, these polls are a first test at the ballot box for the new prime minister. Well, indeed, although Prime Minister Ismail Sabri was sworn in just over a month ago, how his party, Amno performs in Malacca if there's a snap poll will ultimately reflect on his leadership. Although some analysts say that much will depend on how active a role he plays. Now, Mr Ismail Sabri said today that the leadership turmoil in Malacca is an internal party issue. And he will leave it to party president Ahmad Zaid Hamidi to decide. But Malacca has always been a stronghold for UMNO. And UMNO cannot afford to lose the state. And as a prime minister, the buck stops with him. Whatever going to happen in Malacca, he will have to take responsibility. And there's no running away. Although it's only been a month and a half and Prime Minister Ismail Sabri has a short runway, the next general election can be a year down the road. Although there's an understanding with the opposition, Pakatan Harapan, that there's no election is going to be held held before August next year. And this temporary ceasefire and choose in parliament is not set in stone, as it's conditional on a series of reforms and tight deadlines. Now, I spoke with opposition leader Anwar Ibrahim last Friday, and he said that the Pakatan Harapan can still like, oppose, not just abstain at the budget vote expected end of October. If it's not good enough, the conditions are not met. So anything can still happen in Malaysia. The state poll in Malacca can be seen as a test for all sides, a warm-up exercise, so to speak, before the next big fight, the GE15. And some analysts say that this state poll. It's also a showdown for Zahid's party president, uh, a precursor to the party elections that's going to be held in March next year, a gauge of Zahid's leadership within UMNO. So a lot is riding on this Malacca state post. At the same time, Mel, Malacca's just gone into phase three of the national recovery program. There's been so much progress with pushing back COVID-19 and there are now concerns that these polls, well, they could pose another health risk for the country. Exactly. Now, many Malaysians I spoke with today are still uncomfortable with a possible state poll in 60 days, given that Malaysia is still grappling with the pandemic. Although daily cases are coming down, there are still in four digits over 8,000 new cases reported today. But having said that, vaccination rate among adults is also inching towards 90% now. In Malacca, it's 88%. Soon, interstate travel will be allowed, although Prime Minister Ismail Sabri has raised concern about the snap polls after the state election. Remember, in East Malaysia and Sabah, last September, unleashed a third wave that swept across the entire, all the states in Malaysia. And that's why some politicians, including UMNO President Zaid Hamidi, uh, were hinting about invoking the emergency rule in Malacca to postpone the state election. Now, the Election Commission has yet to decide when to call for election. A special sitting will be held soon. Uh, Whatever the decision, the National Security Council and the Ministry of Health will be assessing the situation on the ground, weighing the risks and the emergency, if warranted, that will require dragging the king into the picture again and getting the king uh, to consent once again. Now, His Majesty has already said many times that he wants political stability, although it appears elusive in Malacca. And meanwhile, other states that have slim majority, like Johor, are now getting a bit worried whether this will also happen on their backyard. Mel, thank you for that update. Melissa, go there in KL.